Hello, everyone, and welcome to Reels Movie Podcast. I am Z, and today I'm bringing you the newest movie involved inside the Conjuring universe, The Curse of La Llorona. Like always, there will be spoilers on this episode, so you know the deal. Go watch the movie, come back and listen to this episode. The Curse of La Llorona is about the Mexican folklore, also called the Weeping Woman. The tale involves a woman who long ago drowns her kids in the river, and now she haunts children and then tries to steal them away. She lures the children in by crying and then drowns them. Now, the Weeping Woman folklore is true, and it actually has a very interesting premise around it, which the movie doesn't really help you want to learn about the legend, as bad as it may sound. The setting should have really been set in Mexico, where the origin's based off of, but yet we are taken to 1970s Los Angeles that's focused on an average American family. It's really nothing new, and it totally missed its chance at making something very interesting and, you know, revolving around the true folklore of the legend of the Weeping Woman. Like most ghosts... And spirit movies, they gamble on jump scares, and this movie does have that. But if you have seen the fucking trailer, I am not kidding. If you've seen the trailers, you see every jump scare. And I am not joking. Every single jump scare that's in the trailer is the only jump scares in the movie. The plot is interesting, and it has all the makings of something that can possibly even work but they just drop the ball with their cheap jump scares. They do have a few interesting ones. The daughter, Samantha, now she's outside with an umbrella, and she sees La Llorona through the clear umbrella, and then when she moves away, La Llorona vanishes. There's, you see it in the trailer. Uh, it looked good, very interesting. You know, it has nice premise that could work, but then it just follows it with over-the-top doll, uh, floor creaking noises, door slams, window opening, you know, the same old shit that we've seen in any one of these ghost spirit movies. That's the fallback, and the downside of movies like this is that they show everything in the trailers. La Llorona does not do anything different. Linda Cardellini and Raymond Cruz both did a really good job with what they had to work with. Linda's character, Anna, actually has a nice little backstory that they show. Her husband, who was a cop, is, was killed in action, and now she's a social worker. So she's really tied into the story. Raymond Cruz plays Raphael, who's a former priest. You know, he left the church, but he still has faith in God. He tries to help the family rid of La Llorona. He does bring a little bit of humor into the mix which works very well in a lot of instances, especially his charm with the kids when he says he's not scared. It's, you know, brings a smile to your face, like crack a smile with him. But then obviously you have the kids playing a big factor in it with uh, La Llorona, and they were actually very good as well, and especially the daughter, Samantha. I thought she played it very perfectly. Uh, the acting wasn't the problem. It's just, just was the finished product. It just wasn't there. In all honesty, the Curse of La Llorona just seems like a placeholder for the upcoming Annabelle movie. Uh, it's obviously, you know, it's a spinoff of the Conjuring universe. You have Father Perez in this, who was previously in Annabelle. And you even have a glimpse of the Annabelle doll that he briefly mentioned. It, this feels like a very easy cash grab movie that was just thrown together on a whim. That's the real bad part because you have so much promise with this story, with a very good urban legend, with a very nice villain, that it just very, falls at the wayside. They actually did pull off a very nice twist in the movie, especially in the third act, which the third act, you know, it takes place on Anna's home. But you actually think La Llorona is coming to get the kids, but it turned out it was Patricia whose kids were killed by La Llorona, and she blamed Anna for their death because Anna took them away because she thought Patricia was hurting them, and then the kids wound up dead, and she pretty much cursed Anna and her children with La Llorona, 
and she thinks that she's going to sacrifice Anna's kids to get her own kids back. I thought it was a nice turn of the story, a nice twist. Obviously, it opened up some new doors to the story, but it doesn't help the movie overall. My grade for Curse of La Llorona is a D. Thank you for listening to this episode of Reels Movie Podcast. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. And remember to hit that bell for episode notifications. I'll see you later.